For more than three decades, with thousands of volunteers, the community has come together to create Fantasy of Trees, and it opened today. Now, every year, they have partnered with the East Tennessee Children's mm -hmm. Hospital, and this year, the money raised will be donated to the neurology program at the hospital. This annual event is such a staple, such a tradition for so many families in our area, people all over the state actually visiting, volunteering, designing. The traditional handprint pot holders and cookie decorating are still there for kids to take part in, as well as new things like Lego crafts. Santa even got a new sleigh this year. Wow. It's not only about the kids' activities, it's also the perfect place for those stocking stuffers, all while, while helping those in need with more neurological resources. It's not only just a fundraising event, it's also a friend raising. And what I mean by that is we're not only gaining dollars this week, but we're also reaching out to new partners and, and having people learn about ways that they can connect with East Tennessee Children's Hospital and become a partner of ours in continuing that support and even other programs that we do throughout the year. You know, Fantasy of Trees is open until Sunday, November 26th. So you have plenty of time to go there with your family. There's an online deal where you can get four tickets for $25 or you can buy them separately. They also have a Barbie tree. Oh, do they? Yeah. Okay. Now, My granddaughter let me know about that. Another little asterisk. Yes. Where you should go. Yes. yes.